Unlikely Saints Reads. It's a product of a collaboration between Unlikely Books, uh, my imprint, um, the Festival of Words in Grand Coteau, Louisiana, and Lyrically Inclined, the Open Mic and uh, Spoken Word Slam in Lafayette, Louisiana. Um, Unlikely Books is an outgrowth of UnlikelyStories.org, an electronic magazine that's been around since 1998, and most of what we do is about writers that have been featured in that magazine and have books through us. I, uh, I was kind of aware at all three of these gigs. I, I packed to go to New Orleans on Monday, and I very carefully packed a specific outfit. Um, so naturally, I set that aside, and it didn't actually go in the suitcase. I was going to come in my Justice for Victor White t-shirt. We're talking about Victor White III, who was um, killed in um, New Iberia, the New Iberia, Iberia Parish, um, about half an hour south of Lafayette. Um, it's, a, it's a fairly familiar story, unfortunately, to those who um, are, are reading a lot of news. Um, he's by no means the only young black man to shoot himself in the front of his body while his handcuffs were behind his back in a police car. Um, but that is what he allegedly did and what the um, Emmy confirmed that he did. And um, we... We talk about that um, when we can, and uh, the national press is listening a little bit, and maybe someone else will eventually. I carefully laid aside the Justice for Victor White t-shirt since I missed <laughs> our last three marches and missed the t-shirt as well. Um, <clears throat> on October the 19th, um, while I was planning this series, um, are the poetry editor for Unlikely Stories and Unlikely Books. My best friend died in her sleep. Um, her name was Michelle Greenblatt. Um, one year ago, it was one year ago to the week that this book of hers was to have its book release party at Megan Burns' series, uh, Blood Jet, um, at BJ's in the Bywater. Um, she had to cancel. The state of Florida um, limited her pain medications just with, with the recent election there, and um, she was unable to get on the plane to make it to New Orleans. So that um, the few days beforehand, she spent all night recording her uh, poetry. Um, her husband videotaped it, I edited it, and we showed a 20-minute video there at Blood Jet and here one year ago. Um, and that's uh, available on our YouTube channel. You can find it through unlikelystories.org. And yeah, October, October 19th, she passed. Um, she was not going to reach old age, um, but if, if medical marijuana was legal in Florida at the time, she would be here now. And I would like that very much. You're um, um, presumably familiar with the um, Lafayette Theater shooting. Um, I know we've got some folks in here from out of town. One of the two fatal victims was um, Jillian Johnson, um, a artist and um, in the member, a member of my favorite Lafayette band, The Figs. You all know about Jillian Johnson and the Lafayette shooting and Victor White and um, Michelle Greenblatt's lack of access to proper, the proper medication. And um, it just strikes me when, when people say, um, don't politicize death, that maybe our elected officials should stop killing our friends, and then we can stop politicizing their deaths. 
I don't think that's asking too much. I'd like to read a little of Michelle's work. This is called hypothermic silence. We weigh our grief by the ground and sell it accordingly. I paint the combustible horizon as the hypothermic silence closes in around me. The stems of flowers twitch. The sun erupts, sending flaming streaks of scarlet, scorched orange, and burnt yellow riveting across the sky. This is a place where sighs stay trapped in ice. Suddenly I'm running. Some universal cataclysm hangs over the valley of the dead. Here, see my poetry? Four and a half years ago, I traveled hundreds of miles to bring it to you. You shot me upon sight. The hole in my head continues to brazenly widen. I keep my smile pinned in a locket around my neck so it will never abandon me again. I am pinned, tender red, against the smoking sky. This is called The Name I Once Went By. The name I went, once went by is tattooed under my tongue. The greenery that grows around me goes bold, then dark. The incisions slashed across my cheeks widen when I speak. I try always to give them the truth, but the facts look through my language. A system of mutually enacted paradoxes, outside and inside, space and surface, love and lust. Be careful, they reverse. A single random growth of morning promises to pair away the layered silence. Winter dies, her throat slit. Through, though the wind is still cold against my face, my arms, my breasts. He is blind like history. He makes me uninstall the grand unfurling instances of penetrating remembrance. His hands burrow into the soil and come up worms. I am kept alive in this house where shadows burn when the light strikes. Reason chain smokes the answers, throwing ashes this way, seeds that way. This is called operatic blurrings. I breathe between operatic blurrings each day. I bleed between the all, uh, ocular dualism, excuse me. I bleed between the ocular dualism that strikes every night. I'm half child this morning, though it's not morning. I've learned I'm extinct enough theoretically to pass for it in actuality. You strew hoops of memories onto the piles of dirty laundry in your bedroom, forcing the air into feeling dirty. An old trick you used to play on me when I was called fiancé. Now I am forced to focus on all the mail that's breached itself on my desk. I try to call you, but you've changed your number and the telephone has morphed into a miasmic taunt. I lay my head against the ground and pretend it is sky. This is called From the Shadow Side. I crawl over the bleak beige, treesless plains on scraped knees, my hands bleeding. The land barely, barely varies cadence that casts no victims down before me. Painting, sunburned plants affix me with their pistol and stum and glare, all trampled flowers and withered trembling leaves, and bend under the black surf sky, awash with the star, star's brilliant indifference, the prerogative of all ancient things. Whisper of wind against the small, polished surfaces of glass. I see your ghost in every reflection, a gash of emerald firelight embedded in each eye. Long threads of essence red hang from circumulous clouds. I press my face to the scalding mirror lacquered sand, listening for a hoofbeat, a heartbeat, a way to beckon me back home. And from the shadow side, answers arrive with your echoes, your emptiness, and your terrible absence of light. This is stanza 41 of Streaks of Scarlet, a story in 100 parts, just 100 stanzas. This is 41. O sand, O silk, O galactic black wild, 
she dances naked, breathless, on the web-spread surfaces of zodiacal light. O oh, exposed bruises, O oh, love doubled into madness, madness into self-murder, flood of sunlight bouncing up dust particles, ions in the coronal plasma, forbidden spectral emission lines. She reads pages of blank verse, her eyes skim the skies, registering the empty majestic light of heavenly bodies, most of which have already died. Their light is an echo, a ghost chased by time. She's drowning in the cold moonlight. Thank you. This is Call My Name, I'll Bring the Rain, by Michelle Greenblatt. We pour liquor down our throats, pretend it is love. I plow the seeds of all your alcoholic tomorrows, planting their sour grains alongside the great fell beast, time. Time will tell, the saying goes. But time no longer tells us anything. The leaves winter knocked loose from the black locust tree circle down the eddying bracken meltwater. Its murky rivulets steal every reflection. Above us, the molten sun bakes the gray clouds into scorched white sterility. After you harvest the sun, call my name. I'll bring the rain. I'll give you my oxygen when the air turns to cinders. It won't hurt as much to burn. I know it hurts to burn. I'll still be fragile from frost. I'll have no exits to offer you. I will forever be caught in the blood mirror you forged for me. I'll do what you want, what you need, whatever you ask of me. I'll be anything you tell me to be. Call my name. I'll bring the rain. I'll dangle from the middle of a phrase. I'll dig my own grave. Just come back. Come back to me.